Okay, so this is the layout that I had recorded for um, for today, and um, and this is not glued down, so don't panic. <laughs> um, we made it through most of our first day at Disney, and we our feet were hurting, our backs were hurting. We were just kind of tired of being in line and. And um, so we decided, you know what, we have this hotel room at, um, at the Disneyland Hotel, because remember this was a bucket list trip, so this was, my husband had always wanted to stay at the Disneyland Hotel. So we were staying right nearby and we thought, you know, let's just go take a break and enjoy ourselves in the pool. And we found ourselves all in the hot tub at the same time, and so my husband got his phone and took some pictures. Only one of the kids is missing from these photos. She decided not to go swimming and she hung out in the hotel room, but um, but the rest of us made our way down to the hot, hot, warm water and the jets and the jacuzzi that felt so good on our backs and our feet. Anyway, I highly recommend that if you ever <laughs> are at a major theme park, just take a break, you know, if you can, just go back to the hotel and chill out in the middle of the day. It's kind of fun. Um, these pieces that are down here that form a bit of a border are pieces from the Serene Waters collection. Um, and this middle piece, the darkest one right here, is actually a piece of vellum um, that is printed on, and it's hard to see in this um, particular layout, but um, but it is a piece of vellum on top of a printed piece. All three of those pieces I used this tearing tool with. This is the Double Waves tearing tool. This came out in 2018 and um, gives you two different sized waves that you can tear against, which is kind of fun. It's fun to just get a different little bit of texture in there and see what your paper will give you. Um, all CM paper that is cardstock is solid all the way through so you don't end up with the white edges like you do here with the decorative paper. So it just depends on what you're looking for in a tear. But often when you tear um, cardstock that it has a white core, you will, you will also get this white bit of, of um, that you can see in between when you tear it. The stickers come from Serene Waters, and then I just used this um, Jelly Roll pen to make these tiny circles to be the dots in, and, and add to my bubbles that are on the page. And this journal box is also from Serene Waters. The Our Happy Place, which I was just getting ready to put on here when I decided to go ahead and video this for you. Um, is actually from a company called Echo Park and they are located here in Utah and they have several designs that actually complement our um, Sparks of Magic line really really well. Um, all the same colors, most of the same colors and the same style of design so I, I highly encourage you if you're looking for additional things to complement that, that collection, um, check out Echo Park's um, theme park offerings, and I think you won't be disappointed. I did also mount all of these photos and used a bit of shimmer paper. This is, a, um, I believe, the light blue shimmer paper that I used on this, and so it just sort of complements the photos and, and brings them out from the page, so I really like that. At any rate, this is the layout that I was going to do a video for for you, but unfortunately I had technical difficulties. And I know exactly what happens. It's not, it's, it's not a fluke. I pushed the wrong button. We were trying to take some photos with my camera doing something else. And, um, and anyway, the video got deleted. So my fault, but um, live and learn, right? And I think this is going to be adequate. I want to show you another project that I'm working on. And this is using the 8x8 paper albums. If you've not heard of these or seen these, I just thought I would introduce them to you very quickly. Um, these are perfect for using with um, small... 
I, I term them as they're like a fast to fab for an eight by eight album. And here's why, because you, you fill up an, a, um, an eight by eight sized paper album that's pre-printed on both sides. This one is the one that was made for Leave Nothing Behind and I don't think it's being offered anymore, but I happen to have it handy and I'm going to use it um, to continue what I'm doing here in this project. But at any rate, right, each page is printed on both sides. You get eight pages and um, it's $10 for this book. And then you get, you purchase a pack of pocket pages for the 8x8 album. And then what you get are 12 of these pocket pages. Each of these pocket pages comes with an 8x8 photo safe piece of cardstock inside, which you don't need if you have used these because what you, what you do is you go like this. I've been creating an album, let me just share with you, I've been creating an album for a building that's being built near my home. Um, it's a temple for our church and it's um, because it's being built very near our home, we have been um, chronicling the um, construction of this building. There's a Facebook page and um, a professional photographer takes beautiful pictures of the building um, periodically so that we can see how it's how construction is coming along since the groundbreaking and every six months my ward or our church congregation goes and we stand at a specific place on a corner where the temple grounds will be directly behind us and we get our picture taken Right here, you can see this was the very first one we did, and the temple is being built back here, but because obviously not enough of it had been built, you couldn't see it at this point in time. But every six months, we have a new group photo that, um, that will show us the progress of the building of the temple. Now, what you would do is take this book, once, it's, once you've got all your pictures in it, or even before you have all your pictures in it, if you know exactly what you're gonna be doing, and you just disassemble it. I take my multi-purpose tool and open it up to the middle to where the staples are, and I just slide my multi-purpose tool underneath the staple and twist it just a bit to raise those inner prongs of each one of these staples. And you could do this for any kind of an event. You could do this for a special birthday party or anniversary. You could do this for, um, we have, we have a, back, a back to school edition. So you could do a really quick school book for your granddaughter or grandson. You could do a graduation book um, of just their graduation activities. You could do, um, a special one from for camp, um, girls camp, boys camp. You could do one for a new baby. There are several different kinds and you can also customize these now. So you can make them exactly how you want them to be. You're just gonna take each of these pages and cut them apart so they become separate back-to-back -back pieces. Use your 12 by 12 trimmer and come in here and separate each of these. I'm, I'm just bringing my photos up to date with this and um, I am a little bit behind, but I also um, previously was just keeping these pictures um, in their paper albums and I had slipped an eight by eight page protector over each of them, which is something you can do. But 
they do get a little slippery, slippery and try to wiggle themselves off. So the solution for that is you come along and take one of these page protectors, or I beg your pardon, this is a, um, this is a pocket page. You take the cardstock out because we don't need it, but save it because it's still photo safe, good cardstock. You take your page that's already double sided and just slide it right in to your page protector essentially, or to the pocket page. And then it's got the brackets already on it, so it's ready to go and be put into an album cover. So I have these that I took the cardstock out of already, and I have these other books, one that was made for our Croptoberfest that year, this one was made for spring, and I need to find the group picture to go on it. But um, two packets of these sleeves should accommodate three paper books, paper albums. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put these together into pages and into this beautiful cover set, which you might recognize from a while back. Um, this particular one's not available anymore, but we have some other beautiful ones that are available quarterly. So um, if you keep in mind or keep an eye on the website or take a look at my Facebook page, I will make sure and notify you the next time that they are available. Right now we have a, a little boys and a little girls cover set available, which um, are super cute. And there, there should be some more coming available in the next quarter. So I'll be sure and let you know when those happen and you can go ahead and get one if you don't have any of these just off hand. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna assemble this. So there's no question and you'll be able to do this all for yourself. So I just take the plastic off and then you open it up and you've got a piece of paper that tells you how to work our flex hinge binding. And um, this is invaluable if you don't already know how to operate it. Um, the instructions are right there. You also have a nice core cardboard, which is, makes a good trivet if you're looking for something to, you know, I set my dinner on it sometimes on my desk here so that heat doesn't get to my mat. Works great. We're going to take the binding out and um, we're going to set that aside for right now. We can customize these even though they're smaller. I don't know if you're aware of that, but um, a typical customized spine is of course made for the 12 by 12 and then when you customize it you adjust, you adjust where the um, printing is located and then when it arrives um, you open it up and and fix it so that it is cor correct so it fits properly. I can do a video on that too when I get my custom spine which I don't have just yet but I will do one when I have that. Okay so I'm just unlacing my covers so that I can lift this one off. This is the back cover. I always load um, onto my front cover and, and then add the back. That's just the way I learned to do it a long time ago. You fit each one of these plastic laces through the, that hinge. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and load all of these pages and the ones that I still need to take the papers out of. So you just lace the binding right through careful not to miss one or you'll have to go back and, and fix it. You'll know right away after you lace it together that you are missing one or you can hold it up like this and usually it'll shake out if you are missing one. Okay, let's make sure I have these facing the right direction. Yep. 
and I'll worry about taking the white part, the white paper out of these when I get to that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just load these in here. Okay, I don't think I would want to add more than two packages into one of these albums, although, um, so that's going to give you 24, 24 sides, 24 pa individual pages. Um, I beg your pardon. It's going to give you 24 of these sheets, which are double-sided. So you're going to have 48 pages with two packages of these, which is quite a lot. And um, you just go ahead and put the... I'm talking and I'm not giving you instructions. You slip on this plastic, um, the plastic piece that also has the binding on it. Let me back up so I can show you. So you'll see this also has a hinge on the edge and then it has the woven area right here. Okay, so you, you slip this on to your straps, then you slip the straps through your back binding with it laid open just like that. Then you're going to take each of these straps and you're going to go through the bottom one, the bottom slot first, just like that. And then what I do so that I get a nice tight fit is I bend it forward and then I bend it back and I come in here and lace the top one this direction so that I can pull that strap nice and tight and not have any gap between my cover and my pages. Sometimes you have to hold down the plastic, um, this plastic piece right here so that it doesn't shift around. But you see that way we don't have a lot of extra flexibility and give back there. Then you take your your spine, your customized spine, if you're going to do a customized spine, and once it's cut down and prepared, then you just fit it right in there, and your album is good to go. Now I'm going to just go through here and add all of these pages very easily right into my album one page at a time. So this is, my la this is my last finished page, and then I have, <clears throat> I have a few left. So I guess we can probably put one more book of, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can fit, I can fit 12 more um, or 6 more pages in here from an additional book. So we've got enough that um, that I can do another another paper album, probably at least one more, maybe just shy one page and I should be able to get that in here. Maybe maybe even less. At any rate, um, a super fun project, as you can see, it goes together very, very quickly. You only need you only need two or three photos for each two-page spread. Sometimes I add in more than that, depending on what what we were looking at and how much journaling I wanted to do. And um, 
anyway just a really really cute fast and easy project and again currently in the in the line of paper albums which are just like fast to fabulous because all you need to do is add photos and embellishing and journaling um, we currently have back to school a silver and gold version which could be used for graduation or a special maybe silver anniversary gold anniversary we have a party version we have a girls camp a boys camp version we have a baby version we have an everyday version which i'm waiting to come in my order right now and we have one that goes with the our moments collection um, and uses a lot of the same colors and and patterns from that collection so um, really really fun and easy way to have a really special keepsake I hope that it, this has been inspiring for you and helpful and I hope that maybe you will um, spend some extra time with a loved one or make something special as a gift for someone and use this. An 8x8 album is something really special and a lot of people in our day don't print their pictures so when they suddenly have something special like this where their photos are printed for them it really is a very very special keepsake. So I hope that you'll look into doing that for um, someone you love. And I'm glad that you were here with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. And, we'll, and I um, hope you have many more creative moments. Thanks so much. You have a great day.